Welcome to the after party, bitches. Your boy is back, with another classy installment, from the 8 and Bob, line, entitled, Egypt. Lots of debating in my mind, before I actually blind bought, this one. I've heard many good things on the reviews. I was able to score a full 100 mil, for a hundred even on eBay. Sometimes it's worth holding back, and start making offers, until they give in, check out this, chrome piece of a bottle cap. Who would have thought, an exhaust tailpipe, would make quite the dope novelty cap for this sexy bottle. I've never been to Egypt, so I cannot tell you that this is evocative of that location. But I can tell you that, this is absolutely my ideal barbershop fragrance with a twist. It doesn't smell like Tom Ford's Beau de Jour, or even Maison Martin, Margiela's, at the barber shop. Actually, let me reacquaint myself with this crack, juice. Are you ready? Reaction face activated. Sniff sniff. <coughs> That's actually how I feel about it, and I'm not even shitting you. Peep these notes because I'm about to mention two notes that I pick up, that are not even listed. And that's cloves, and star anise, slash licorice. The spices are well blended, but because I can catch that star anise, it makes me think of the island drink of the Caribbean. And that's more B. But, I'm talking about the thick, more, B, concentrate, that is sweet, with that licorice effect. Someone on Fragrantica had stated it reminded them of John Varvato's vintage. I don't really see the connection, other than it does have vintage -y connotations, but it is also modern as well. This is superb juice. Shit, now I need to get rid of 10 more fragrances. So I wore this to work that night. About 4 spritz. How long does it last? You ask? All night long! at a good 10 hours for me. Drop that comment down below and let your boy know what you think of this one. Deuces, I'm out.